Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to talk about Fallout 76. And more specifically, I want to talk about how Fallout 76 has just had a huge information leak. And I'm talking about this is gigantic. This is a lot of information to take in. And we're going to have a lot, of, a lot to talk about in this video. And in this video, I'm also going to be talking about because in this leak, we see that essentially maybe the only way that we're going to be able to get mods for fallout 76 is to pay for them through creation club so no more mods from outside sources which is insane we're only gonna have paid mods in fallout 76 or at least according to this leak we are now i know people are probably skeptical because i say leak however guys this leaker is pretty reliable as it this information comes from the same leaker who leaked the Fallout 76 name over a year ago. In fact, I have that original posting here. Uh, Anonymous, Thursday 28th, um, December 2017. Fallout 76, a Fallout-themed Rust clone coming soon. Now guys, this same user uh, claims that he made a Reddit post that we're about to look at, and it's got some pretty awesome, interesting information. And I'm pretty sure whatever this leaker has to say is pretty accurate and pretty reliable, including that they said that Fallout 76 would be coming and it would be a Rust themed game, or it's going to be a Fallout themed Rust clone. That's exactly what they said. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be really reliable on the information as they said this over a year ago before anybody was even talking about Fallout 76, before there was even a teaser trailer for Fallout 76, and before there was even, you know, any anything about Fallout 76. This person either predicted it and is some kind of fortune teller, or they have some type of insider information, which he says he is a Bethesda insider in the Reddit post we're about to, le we're about to read, that has all the information uh, that essentially that he leaked. And it's a lot of information to take in, guys. I want to talk about it all today. Um, however, it looks like Fallout 76 is shaping up to be a really ambitious game. And it's going to be hard to talk about all this stuff. But I'm going to try to make it quick, clean, and as good as I can for you guys. Uh, so with that said, let's go ahead and look at this big information leak, which this leaker leaked. Now this leaker on, uh, goes on Reddit, goes by the name of non cumic Communicable, commit, I can't say the word, I, 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 I pronounced it earlier properly and I can't do it now, sorry, mold. And essentially it says, 4chan leaker here, more drops will delete soon. And in fact, he did delete this post soon. Um, he deleted it, I believe, a couple of hours after. You can't find this anymore. Um, and it goes on to say, source inside Bethesda here. It's open world, improvised weapons, uh, and base building centered will feature a scavenger from the surface as a main character, hence why the vault seems empty other than main character in trailer. Co-op, but not MMO or Rust-like. Now, there's a lot more information that he gave us, but let's just take that and break that down. So first off, he says he's a source inside Bethesda. I do believe him as he said Fallout 76 was coming more than a year ago, so it does make sense that he somehow is an insider whether he works at Bethesda Game Studios developing the game whether he works around the game whether he you know is an intern and he hears stuff we obviously know this person's an insider and they did in fact later delete all of this that they posted um, probably in an attempt to cover their tracks so they so the leak couldn't be traced back to them because odds are if it was traced back to them they would lose their job and I'm pretty sure they didn't want that um, so I'm pretty sure they're an insider when they say that and then he goes on to say it's open world improvised weapons and base building centered which is good which is kind of all stuff we have seen in Fallout 4 we seen a big open world um, and open world is good and awesome because we want Fallout 76 to be an open world that we could explore just like all the other Fallouts were. 
improvised weapons i'm pretty sure he means you're going to be able to customize a lot of weapons and stuff like that you're going to be able to build weapons make weapons from scratch um, maybe there'll be different ammo types like we've seen in fallout new vegas which would be really cool uh, he says it's base building centered, um, which is really, and he also goes on to talk about the building a little more as well later on in this thing, and we'll read that in a minute. Um, but he says it's base building centered, which makes sense because uh, Bethesda spent a lot of time, or Bethesda Game Studios spent a lot of time developing that building system for Fallout 76. So, yeah. Um, we also see we'll feature a scavenger from the surface as the main character. This is pretty interesting as we really don't have any predictions on the story at the moment, which is kind of crazy. Hence why Vault seems empty other than main character and trailer. Co-op, but not MMO or Rust-like. Um, this is pretty awesome news because I know a lot of people don't want it to be an MMO. I know a lot of people don't want it to be Rust-like and... I know a lot of people want it to be co-op. I wanted it to be co-op. I made a video a while back saying that, hey, it's not going to be MMO. It's not going to be online. It's going to be co-op. And I got a bunch of hate and negativity for it, which is really unfortunate. But I understand why people did it, right? Because there was a lot of rumors flying around that were saying the exact opposite of what I was saying. And it looks like what I predicted is becoming a little more true. So I'm glad to see that it's not going to be an MMO or Rust-like. Uh, now guys, here's where things get pretty interesting. This leaker also goes on to say, this is what the Fallout 4 build system was a test for, which kind of makes sense, because if we look at Fallout 4 and the build system, um, it seemed like it was more a test for something. It seemed like, uh, a lot of people assumed that it was going to be a test for the Elder Scrolls 6, that we would see some type of building in the Elder Scrolls 6, um... And a lot of people said that Fallout 4 felt empty and hollow compared to, you know, Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. A lot of people said Fallout 4 really didn't feel like a Fallout. Um, and maybe Fallout 4 was kind of made as a test game for Fallout 76. Maybe Fallout 76 was Bethesda's, uh, Bethesda Game Studios plan all along. Maybe Fallout 76 was essentially the big project that they were working on, something that they were putting a lot of time, a lot of effort into, and maybe Fallout 76 might be one of the most ambitious Fallouts that we might ever see, but who knows up until E3. Um, so that's pretty crazy that he says uh, that the Fallout 4 build system was a test for Fallout 76, which is kind of insane. I mean, Fallout 4 was a good game, right? It wasn't the greatest game. It had a lot of shortcomings. But once you think about it, the game kind of did seem like a test for something bigger. A lot of people thought that test was The Elder Scrolls 6. But most likely, the test was for Fallout 76. And I can't wait to see what Fallout 76 has to offer now. Um, he then goes on to say stuff about the factions, where he talks about six factions, three of which are notables that we have seen in previous games. Don't know more than that. They're being very tight-lipped. So I really don't know what to think here. Six factions, that's almost as many as we've seen in Fallout New Vegas. That's a lot of factions. Hopefully we could side with each of them, have a lot of, uh, you know, team up with a lot of factions. Hopefully there's a lot of story play value there in the game. We also see three of which are notables that we have seen in previous games. So who's that going to be? Is that going to be the Enclave? Is that going to be the Brotherhood of Steel? Um, I really don't know who else it could be. I know the Enclave... Uh, from what I've read in the lore, didn't leave the oil rig that they were on um, for like a hundred years or something. I know the Brotherhood of Steel wasn't established yet at the time Fallout 76 is going to take place because we know Fallout 76 is taking place 25 years after the bombs fall. So to see three factions that we've seen before in the game, I really don't know what that could be. I'm assuming early remnants of the Enclave, maybe early remnants of the Brotherhood of Steel, and maybe some form of U.S. military, uh, something like that. But who honestly knows at this point? Um, and then this Reddit user also goes on to say that there's going to be some type of mobile app for this game. Now, a lot of people are assuming it's going to be a new mobile game. However, I don't think so. Uh, Fallout Shelter is still going strong, it's still doing well, and I highly doubt Bethesda would just abandon that. Um, it's making them money still, it, people still play it, so I don't see why they would produce, produce a new mobile 
game. What I think it's going to be is if you guys remember, we seen uh, with the Fallout 4 Pip Boy Collector's Edition, you got a Pip Boy and essentially you could do your phone and it would be a companion app. So while you were playing the game, you could get on your Pip Boy and do stuff. So like weapons, heal yourself, use the radio, turn stuff, and all that kind of stuff. And I think uh, that that's most likely what we're going to see again. I don't think it's going to be some type of mobile game like a lot of people are predicting uh, on this post. Now, one of the most important things we got to talk about, one of the most crazy things that we have to talk about is when this Reddit user says this. Uh, no external mods uh, outside of CC. They're going to try and cut that off at the pass and sell it as a security thing citing stolen content and adult mods. Believe it or don't, mark my words, we'll be deleting account shortly. And like I said, this person did delete their account and you can no longer find it. Um, so guys, this is a pretty big piece of information. Many of us in the Bethesda community don't like Creation Club. We didn't approve of paid mods and a lot of people hated it. Um, and this kind of seems really dodgy. I don't know why Bethesda Game Studios would do this. I understand where Bethesda Game Studios comes off saying, hey, the people are making adult mods out of our game, really nasty, gross, disgusting stuff, doing stuff with our game that we don't want them to do. And for those of you wondering, like, oh, there's, there's some mods out there, but they're not that bad, you know, they might have nudity, but they're not terrible. Keep in mind, there are other mods out there that add nudity, uh, to certain, let's say, individuals that would make the game very sickening um, to many of us. Um, we also have the stolen content, which is a huge complaint among modders. Many modders, uh, if you go look, they'll say that, oh, such and such stole my content and re-uploaded it. This was my mod. This is such and such. They just did work to it and all this kind of stuff. So, I see where Bethesda Game Studios would come off as that too and try to be like, you know what, uh, cut, I see why Bethesda Game Studios would want to cut out offside. I would, I see why Bethesda Game Studios would want to cut out, uh, essentially outside and off, you know, site mods, if you will. I see why they would want to cut out Nexus Mod Manager and all the mods, you know, besides the one they make and introduce in Creation Club. I see why they would want to cut out those mods. Um, because there's a lot of drama in the modding community if you don't know and you don't follow it It's not all the time everywhere It's just sometimes and sometimes it could get pretty bad and also I understand what Bethesda means by security Which is pretty crazy um, now guys. I'm not saying I approve of paid mods, but I don't disprove of what Bethesda is doing I understand why they're doing it security. They don't want people making adult mods with their content and they don't want people stealing each other's content. So they want to cut all of that out and they want to produce their own content, which makes sense. I understand it. When you have people making sexual mods involving, you know, minors, it's kind of disgusting. And I'm pretty sure the Bethesda team looks at their game in a different way. And they're like, hey, we don't want that in the next Fallout. We don't want Fallout to be like that. Stolen content, I understand. Security issues, I understand. I understand why Bethesda Game Studios would try to pass it off as what they want because they want to make some money off Creation Club. I understand why they would only allow paid mods uh, from them only. And I understand why they would try to cut out outside sources for modding. However, I do believe if you want to get your mods from somewhere, Nexus Mod Manager, Whatever you want to do to your game, I believe you should be able to do. All I'm saying is I understand where Bethesda is coming, f coming from when they say they want to, you know, get rid of things like adult mods. They want to get rid of things like stolen content. And uh, they want to make sure security isn't an issue anymore. Um, I understand these things. You know, I've installed some mods that have been fishy. Um, and I just uninstall them on my computer, you know, I've installed mods, you know, that will destroy my game completely, and, uh, I'll have to go into the files, and I have to change stuff, and it's unfortunate that we have a lot of these mods that are good, but also break your game, and that's really unfortunate, and I don't want game-breaking mods being available, because they're really not filtered right now, when you could just download the mods off, you know, the Fallout 4 homepage, or the 
start screen, if you will. You really can't filter all those mods out that are going to break your game. There's no assurance of your security or your computer's safety. I mean, I have mods that crash my game every time I start up. Then I got to go through like a hundred different mods and deactivate them one at a time just to see which one it is and then I have to reactivate all the other ones and delete the mod that's causing the problem. I understand where Bethesda Game Studio is coming from when they say they want to cut out outside sources, but I believe we should still be able to get our mods from outside sources if we do so wish to. But all I'm saying is that if we could only get mods from Creation Club, I won't mind, I will purchase them um, because honestly if they're fun and entertaining mods, why wouldn't you? I mean, modders work hard, and Bethesda Game Studios is trying to give back to those modders through Creation Club. But honestly, who knows? What's going to happen until we see everything at E3? Bethesda Game Studios spent a lot of time trying to bring mods to console and to PC, and I highly doubt they would throw all that work down the drain just to solely say you can now only buy mods from Creation Club. But this leaker has leaked accurate information, and if this does turn out to be true, I'll be a little disappointed, but I won't, you know, disown this game. I won't not play it. I'll buy mods from Creation Club, and I'll play the game because I love Fallout. All I'm saying is we should be able to get mods from outside sources. So guys, yeah, that's kind of all the information that was leaked, and this was an F-ton of information. Um, what do you guys think about all this information? Are you happy with some of these leaks? What don't you like about these leaks? Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, what Are you guys happy with paid mods only in Fallout 76? Or do you guys want to be able to install mods from outside sources? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about all of this. Now guys, keep in mind, I'm not the one who leaked this information, so please don't hate on me. I'm just reporting and giving my opinion on it. And although you may not agree with my opinion, I hope you won't hate on me for giving my opinion. Anyways, I love each and every single one of you. I hope to see you guys right back here in the next video, but until then, remember to stay freaky. Bye everyone.